the good life. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another exciting day. Man. What the hell? Where the hell are we right now? What kitchen are we in? Guys, I'm down in Fort Lauderdale. I got a boat, a beautiful uh, lagoon uh, uh, 440. Where it's just one of the most beautiful, gorgeous days out. I'll tell you, it's fantastic. And uh, we're going to get ready to make some lunch. You know, when you're around the sea and you smell the ocean and the water, you know, you want to... You want to take a flavor of the sea, you know, you want to take a flavor of the ocean. And, uh, and my favorite is, uh, is a Mista de Mare, which is, uh, which is basically a, a salad of the sea. And it's so similar to a ceviche, right? So when you look at a ceviche known from Peru, like that Peruvian seafood is kind of like your center stage. And then you're going to add some other ingredients that are common. Uh, you know, during that time of the season. So Italy's no different. We've got our own version of it. So I'm gonna make, uh, whether you wanna call it a Mr. De Mare or whether you wanna call it a ceviche, it's gonna be everything. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so let's get going on ingredients, okay? Number one, center stage, right? The guy on the marquee is our tuna. So what I've got here is I got some yellow fin tuna. Oh, that smells great. I mean, it's just, it's the ocean. And I've got a pound of yellow fin tuna. So we're gonna get that prepped up and ready to go. And now we wanna start adding some flavors of Italy and you know, the flavors of the earth, right? So we've got ocean and now we wanna add earth and we're gonna add sun, if, if you think of it that way, right? So earth, what do we've got? So we've got some cilantro. So I've got a small bunch here of cilantro. Oh, and it's so gorgeous. You know what I love about cilantro? It's grassy and uh, it's just got its own unique kick of flavor. It's got a little bit of pepper flavor to it as well. It's got a flavor of clean. Like when you have it, it just, it cleans your tongue and like taste buds. Now we got some more earth. So we're gonna add some red pepper. Now guys, you can do whatever you wanna do, right? But today we're gonna add some red pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of red pepper. We're gonna add a tomato, right? We need a little pomodoro, right? We need some Italy here down in Fort Lauderdale. I've got here a, a whole bulb of garlic, but we're gonna use about a clove, maybe about a clove and a half of garlic. Now we wanna add some sunshine, right? So I'm gonna add a lemon and I'm gonna add a lime. So I'm gonna take one whole lemon, one whole lime, and we're gonna use a little bit of zest from it. I'll show you how what that looks like. And then all the juices from both of those. It's gonna be fantastic, okay? Obviously, we're gonna add a little bit more earth and a little bit more sunshine. So this is a little bit of both, and it's an avocado. So we're gonna add two avocados, which I couldn't fit on this plate. So we're gonna add two avocados to about a pound of the tuna. I've got some sea salt, right? My pink Himalayan, but not so. This is my gray sea salt. And I've got freshly ground black pepper. Another important ingredient, oh, sesame seeds. Now what I did here is I got some brown, see I got the black ones, and I got the white sesame. And what I did here to just kill it, I took a little dried ginger, it's like a flake, almost like a salty flake, right? I mixed one part black sesame seed, one part white sesame seed, to about a quarter teaspoon of the ginger, because you don't want to go too heavy with the ginger because it'll overpower. So now we gotta use some olive oil. So what I've got here is about a third of a cup of some of the best olive oil you're ever gonna have in your life, and it's Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Olive Oil from Italian trees, Italian olives. I co-op with a group of farms right in Puglia, right above the hill. My sons and I own a farm out there. We bring you the best olive oil we could possibly bring you right here in the United States. So we can drop ship it right to your house. The, the olive oil is grassy, earthy, it's peppery, oh. and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, how do I get a bottle of olive oil? That's a great question. You go right on our Facebook page, Cooking Italian with Joe, or you can go right on our webpage, cookingitalianwithjoe.com, and you can order a large bottle, a small bottle, we drop ship it right to your house. It's fantastic. I call it a trip to Italy right in the box. Now we got Pellegrino over here. Pellegrino does not go in this recipe, but it's so hot here, and I'm not complaining, it's fantastic, okay? but I'm gonna probably need a little hydration throughout the cooking process. All right, simple and fast. Here is my tuna. So the tuna is just beautifully cleaned. You see that? It's perfect. So I'm gonna cut this up into small little cubes, all right? So simply put, the easiest way to do it, oh, look at that. Look at that, is that just spectacular? Just keep halving it, okay? So you want a piece that's gonna give you a good bite, but you also want a piece, look at that, right? So you got yourself a quarter to a half inch there. And then you want another, you want a piece that's gonna give you a beautiful flavor, a beautiful bite, but not too much to chew on, okay? So I just keep half in it is essentially what I'm doing. Okay, now once I'm like that, same idea, I'm gonna half that. Okay, and then I'm gonna half that. Okay, so you're gonna create like a little strip there. 
Now I'm gonna cut it in a little cube. So our cube will be about the same thickness as that. All right, so that's what you're going for. You're going for something just about that size, okay? Now I'm gonna throw everything right in my bowl and I'll go ahead and cut this up. All right guys, tuna's cut up and we wanna start prepping that, seasoning it, and basically cooking it with our juices. Isn't that beautiful? So we wanna start prepping that and cooking it essentially with the juices, infuse our flavors from the Mediterranean. So next and most important, the first thing we wanna do, is we wanna get our acids and we wanna put our sunshine in there, okay? So I'm gonna prep these up, get them ready to go. So real simple, just take your lemon, cut that in half, okay? Take your lime, cut that in half. Beautiful. And then you're gonna take one of these and then you're just gonna get your lime. Now you're gonna do the whole lime in there. Ooh, that's beautiful. Then we're gonna do, and just keep, set them aside because we're gonna grab a little zest out of there, okay? Then I'm gonna grab our lemon. And then real important, just give it a real light stir, okay? Because I want that lemon and lime to start doing its magic. As soon as I got that, I'm gonna add my sesames now. I want a little bit of crunch. I'm gonna add about two thirds of this in Hold back a little bit just to finish it up. Give that a stir. And the acid's gonna pull some of those flavors from your sesame, which is great. Now while that's doing its magic, I'm gonna grab ourselves a clove of garlic here. I want the perfect clove. And then you're gonna take that puppy, you're gonna hit it. Now the easy way to do this is just to give it a couple of really small cuts, because I don't have my press. And with the knife, just give it a mush. Okay, our garlic's done. Give it a good scrape, throw it in there. Now give that a stir with your garlic, and that's starting to absorb those juices, right? And then just grab one of your lemons, and again, we want just a little bit of that zest. You don't want to go too much because it's got a lot of oils in here, and it's got a lot of flavor. Grab a little bit of your lime, and just give that a good clean. Oh, that's beautiful. And that's just going to brighten up your dish. Now your lemon and lime, what that does, that adds that sunshine if you will, if you think of it that way. But that's really gonna brighten up your dish. So so the rind gives it just that extra little cleanly bright and it's very aromatic. So it gives you a beautiful flavor. Next, I'm gonna add some pepper. Now I'm gonna add a good half of a teaspoon, not tablespoon, teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon to about a third of salt. Again, while that's cooking essentially, right? I'm gonna give that a nice big stir. Next, I'm gonna do pepper. Now, I don't wanna overpower this with pepper. I'm gonna put about a third of a pepper in there. Now, the beauty with the pepper, is gonna add a nice flavor, and it's gonna add a nice color. It just brightens up that dish. Get rid of your seeds. Now, I want it thin. I don't want a big hunk of pepper, because I don't want it to overpower those beautiful flavors. It's gonna give you an earthy, pepper's earthy. So, same idea here. We're gonna cut these up. See the dice in there, that perfect? Peppers in, now my tomato. Tomato, same thing. We wanna clean that tomato, and then I wanna flesh it. So real simple, you just take your tomato, right, and just push out all your seeds, but see that soft flesh? Get as much of that out as you can. Or if not, you're gonna end up with a soup. See how much moisture is in there? It's gonna be too much. And then, just like we did with the pepper, Again, you can go a little bit bigger on these because you want a nice flavor of that tomato. So we're gonna do like cube, just like that. Give you a bite and some beautiful flavor. Look how beautiful that is, oh. Now you see how the tuna's starting to turn color? The tuna's starting to cook, okay? Next I'm gonna do my cilantro. I wanna do the avocado. I wanna do the avocado last because the avocado will get broken up. It'll get too mushy if I do it too early. So essentially just take your, your leaves here and just cut a few of those leaves off. And then same idea here, easiest way to do it is to kind of roll up your herb and then you're just gonna cut through it. Now if I want a small chop, I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, that's perfect. And now we're gonna put that in there. Now guys, you wanna just turn in that cilantro, just do a nice fold. Oh my God, the flavor in here is fantastic. All right, so now I wanna prep my avocado. That's the last thing I wanna do, like I said. I wanna give you a couple of tips on getting these avocados ready. I'll tell you another great tip that makes this ceviche, this Italian Mr. Damate that comes out fantastic is if you subscribe to our channel. Click our subscribe button right down there. And when you do, hey, any trips I've got, any new recipes I have, any great ideas I have about Italy, it comes right to your notification box. And I'll tell you, when you subscribe to our channel, it really means a lot to me. It's not something I take lightly. And hey, makes you part of the family. You know what I'm saying? By now, I'm sure you've gone to the website and you've grabbed yourself a bottle, maybe two, 
for you can buy it by the case of some Vito and Joe's olive oil with drop ship it right to your house. All right, so let's get going on these avocado. Okay, simple easy on the avocado. You're gonna cut it right in half. Then you're gonna be left with two halves. Take your knife, give it a little shot. There's your seed. Then what you're gonna do is just take a spoon and real gentle, real gentle, just take your time and scoop it right out of the avocado. And you're trying to keep it in as nice of shape as you can. Now just flip them. And then what you're gonna do is cut them in some larger pieces. If you cut them too small, they're turning into avocado butter. Last, before I put in my avocados, okay, I wanna put in my olive oil, Vito and Joe's. I think I talked to you guys about that. There's another flavor of Italy. And then just nice and slow, you're gonna give it a good stir. Now we're good, we're gonna take our avocados. And I don't wanna stir them in because like I said, they'll mush. So I got everything in there. Last thing I'm throwing in there is the avocados, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something kind of fun. So I'm just gonna grab a mold of some sort. So this will be kind of funky. I'm gonna fill this and then I'm gonna set it up on a dish. Okay, so simple now, I've got everything in there. I'm gonna do a really gentle fold, really gentle. Because remember, the only concern I have is the avocado. So I wanna keep some of that in good shape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dish that I'm gonna use as a mold, okay? I'm gonna fill it and give it a really good press now we want to put it in the refrigerator. Throw them in for about a half hour. We want to get everything chilled back up again, right? And we want that to set so that when I plate it, it's going to be beautiful. All right, guys, it's been about 30 minutes. So I got this as cool as I can. So I'm going to pop it just like this, right? Pop it upside down and then just give it a tap. Oh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of those seeds. I'm just going to hit it right on the top. Oh, does that look good or does that look good? You got the puddle of oil and juices. Take a little cilantro off to the side, plate it. Oh, look at that. Does that look beautiful or what? Okay, guys, you know what's my favorite part? Oh, I mean, every smell is, like I said, it's sunshine, it's earth, it's sea. So I'm going to grab myself a perfect bite. Tuna, avocado, a little bit of that top crunch. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right away, the olive oil, the citrus, the lime and the lemon hit you. Then you get a little bit of that cilantro. Mm. It's so bright, it's so fresh. And then the tuna, the elephant tuna, comes at the end with the avocado. And then you get a little bit of that crunch with the sesame seed. This will be done within moments when we're done on the video. Nothing better than that flavor of Italy. That Mediterranean, that sunshine, that earth, that olive oil. Mmm. You're around the ocean. No doubt about it. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Having some fun with me in the kitchen. I've probably got cilantro in my teeth. I've had so much fun sharing my kitchen on my boat with you guys this week, man. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun too. Now remember, subscribe, hit that red button, make you part of the family. Go right online, grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's olive oil. You probably already did all this stuff already, but it's just a reminder, okay? And guys, remember, shut off the TV the cell phone, the computers, and share stories and, and celebrate your heritage and set some traditions that will last your lifetime. I know they did for me, guys. Hey, until next week, signing off from Florida for my kitchen and yours. Good Talk. life. Bon appetit, Full of fun seems to be the ideal.